Hi everyone and welcome to Have Like Couponers. Today I am here with another, this is the third edition of a Couponers Guide to Gifting. I'm so, so, so excited to be back with another great gifting idea for you guys as Couponers. And yes, so in my opinion, this guide to gifting is probably the best one for a couponer. Seriously. This is because this gift is your stockpile itself. Yes, you can totally gift from your stockpile. And I'm going to tell you guys, I've gifted from my stockpile for like the last five years. This is the gift. It don't matter what I buy them at the store. This is the gift they get most excited about. Because to a non-couponer, to us, shampoo, toothpaste, laundry detergent, those are things that we get all the time for free. But to them, this is something they would pay money for at the store. So essentially, it's like you're handing them like $100 by giving them these products that they would just go out and pay for. So seriously, that's, yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to show you guys how to gift from your stockpile and all that kind of stuff in just a minute. But first up, I do want to say this is a collaboration series with several other amazing YouTubers. Gina Schweppe, Shop with Sarah, Savvy Saver Diva Jackson, My Couponing Life. Um, and then there's been several guest slots throughout the way. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Um, but it's been such a great series so far, and I'm so um, honored to be a part of it. So, yes, let's go now and talk about gifting from your stockpile. I am aware that several other of us in the collab have already done videos all about stockpile baskets. However, I think these are such great gifts and easy for couponers that it deserves to be mentioned again. Several of you guys have reached out that you really want to see a video all about stockpile baskets, and this is a perfect gift for a couponer, literally the best one you can give. And plus, we all have our own tips and ideas on how to organize these. So I think another video in the collab is totally good. So let's move on to how to do these baskets. All right. So first up, I suggest um, I always get my baskets at the Dollar Tree just because obviously the Dollar Tree is a dollar. And um, you could get really if you go like to Walmart or somewhere else, you get really caught up in spending a lot of money on a basket and for somebody who's on a budget especially this year with COVID and people losing their jobs and just times being so tough we don't want to spend unnecessary money so go to the Dollar Tree and get these baskets that are a dollar these are very durable very big you'll see me stuff this thing full of stuff these are the exact ones I use every single year for my family members and they're just awesome. So go to the Dollar Tree. You could also check maybe, I don't know, other stores. Um, I don't think anyone else is going to have them for a dollar. So I just say go to the Dollar Tree. You also can put tissue paper in here um, if you want to make it look more full. If you're not putting a bunch of stuff. Typically, I stuff so much stuff in it that I don't have room for tissue paper. But um, keep in mind, you can do that. So basket. And then essentially what you're going to do next is fill it up with stockpile stuff. So just say laundry detergent. Everybody loves laundry detergent. Um, if it's a dude, you can give him Axe products. If it's a woman, you can give um, I think you can give better body wash and swab, a little dub deodorant. This is just stuff from my last haul that I still had on hand. You know, put in razors and um, uh, uh, toothpaste and pain relievers. And I've even put office supplies in here, cleaning supplies. All that kind of stuff, just fill up the basket with products. And I always like to include, or well, not always, but you can also include some candy. So remember we got these for our Rocha, or Rocha things a few months ago or a few weeks ago. You can just stuff that down in there. And it makes just such a great gift that, like I said, I originally always felt bad about the money part of it. Like, oh, I didn't spend anything on this stuff, so that's not really a gift. But think about it on the flip side. They would go spend. Just think about it. This is at least four bucks on a given day. Four bucks, four bucks, three twenty-seven, five dollars, uh, almost five dollars. That my gosh, this stuff's like twelve bucks at Rite Aid where I got it, and a dollar. So you just like you gave them thirty bucks just on this stuff. Seriously, and so this is equivalent as a gift if you are in a tight spot this year and really don't have any money to spend on Christmas or you just really think your family would enjoy this stuff which that's the case for me I did buy them some other stuff but I know for a fact this is the gift they're gonna get most excited about because every year this is the kind of thing that they request is items from the stockpile and it just is so awesome it's just a great way to gift so whatever boat you're in this is a really really great gift for a family member 
All right, so that is all I got for today's Couponer's Guide to Gifting. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and it helps somebody get inspired to gift from your stockpile this Christmas. It is such a great thing to do. And yeah, that's all I got. And thank you guys so, so much for watching.